Welcome to Ucanic. Today here on Ucanic, we're going to go over where you would add um, brake fluid on your 2016 Mazda 3. This is your brake fluid reservoir. Um, some, and so you've got the reservoir, you've got a cap here, and you've got lines here that are going to say a minimum and max. We leave some room for expansion, minimum and max, and this is right in the middle. So that's pretty good. Now, um, that's right there. Now sometimes these get dark and you can't see them. So a neat trick is if you just take a flashlight and you can put it right next to it, um, any type of flashlight, and you can literally put it right next to it and see you can see the level fairly easy and know where it's at. It gives you that good indicator to see the level uh, of your fluid. Now if you need to add brake fluid, you would remove this cap, just twist it counterclockwise, just a quarter turn, and remove it. You would put brake fluid in right there and bring it up to the max. This brake fluid is a dot three, and they always recommend to put it from a freshly opened bottle so that there's no moisture that gets in here. Um, because moisture is not a good thing to have in your brake system. Nor is running this too low and getting air into your system because air in your system will cause your brakes not to work properly. So you, you don't want it ever to get too low. But you would top it up to there and then from your sealed container of a dot three and then just put the cap on and that is a quarter turn to the right to put that back on. And that's where you would add brake fluid on your Mazda 3. Thanks for watching. Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.